friends, with dogged determination and much passion, we here at the Buffalo AKG have aspired to uplift our community by building a museum of and for the people. A museum without walls that segregate, separate, and tie down the human spirit and imagination. We have dreamt of the moment when people from diverse backgrounds can walk unhindered through the doors of a new museum, one that harnesses the full measure of its historic legacy, along with all the potential it holds for the future. Knitting together the hard work and dedication of hundreds of staff members, board members, volunteers, community partners, elected officials, donors, family members, and many others, dear friends, this day is now upon us. It is with excitement, with humility and gratitude that I welcome you to this gathering of people, a celebration that inaugurates a new chapter in the storied history of an organization that was incorporated in 1862 during the brutal and bloody American Civil War. In front of you, you see the Jeffrey E. Gunlock Building, a brilliant, ingenious structure designed by Shohei Shigematsu and his team at OMA in collaboration with Jason Cataret and his team at Cooper Robertson, a structure conceived, co-created, and willed into being by hundreds of people from all walks of life. To your right, you see two historic buildings, the neoclassical Robert and Elizabeth Wilmers building designed by E.B. Green and the modernist Seymour H. Knox building designed by Gordon Bunshaft. These fully renovated and refurbished jewels in Buffalo's necklace of architectural marvels represent many layers of history and moments of significant becoming in the history of this institution. We are joined today by members of the history-making families whose names now adorn the structures on our campus and the name of our museum. Thank you to Jean Knox, Seymour H. Knox IV, Northrop R. Knox IV, and the descendants of John J. Albright for being with us for this historic moment.